The French government have thrown another spanner in the works when it comes to selling your house in France. I get the impression they like to like throw it out there, see how it goes, and then make the final decisions once they've seen how it works out. And this latest one is called GeoRisk. So, what is GeoRisk? Well, as always, it started out with all the good intentions, you know, saving the planet, stopping extinction. You do want to save the planet, don't you? And then the government got involved and it went a bit sideways. <laughs> Basically, GeoRisk is the revised version of the ERP, which is the Etat de Risque et Pollution which is the equivalent of local surveys, let's say. Before it was called the ERNMT, then they decided to change it to the ESRIS. Then they wanted to simplify it a bit, so they called it the ERP. And well, now they made it a bit more friendly by calling it GeoRisk. So at least you know what it's talking about, almost. But this time, it's not just the name that has changed. I'll put a link up here, or there, maybe, there, there, dun, dun. I'll put a link up here somewhere and at the end of the video to the video I did in about 2021 explaining what the ERP is for because on the actual legal side of things it's still pretty well the same thing. It's just the way it's applied now. To summarise though, it's the local surveys to check around the property whether there's any risk of flooding, seismic activity, subsidence, clay expansion, radon gas and in-ground pollution. Where things have changed though is whereas before the actual surveys were done up at the time of the compromise or promise de vente or the initial sales agreement, now they have to be done at the time of the visit. Which is understandable in a way in the sense that you actually had half the information on the house once you've already actually discussed the price and agreed the price and shaken hands with the owners. Obviously, this could lead to some bad surprises in certain sales where the actual purchasers learn about the faults after they agree the price. And obviously being very disgruntled. And also, further on, even more disgruntled vendors when their buyers put out. What the hell did he do? So in a way, I suppose it's a good thing. So in their wisdom, the French government have actually decided to make the diagnostics or GeoRisk report available to the potential buyers at the time of the actual visit to their house. That is to say, as of the 1st of January 2023, when you visit a property in France, the actual agent or the vendor, if it's a private sale, should actually provide you with a copy of the GeoRisk report or local surveys. It's not clear whether you actually have a hard copy of that report when you visit at the moment, or whether you just actually consult it. Let's hope for the sake of the trees that they actually decide it's consultable. We can always send through a PDF version or electronic version through to you after your visit so you can actually look back at it afterwards. Also, as of the 1st of January 2023, on the French property websites, they must have a mention st stipulating whether the property is affected or not by the GeoRisk survey. One of the stupid things about it is that in France, since 2011, Everywhere in the mainland is classed as having some level of seismic activity. So it is by default obligatory to have the report done. The other stupid thing about it is that the official mention we have to put on the website is the information about the actual local surveys for this property is available on the GeoRisk website. But you need to actually know the exact address of the property to actually get the results. Which, if you know anything about French real estate, French estate agents do not give out property addresses until you actually go to visit the actual house itself. So there you have it. Another French law brought out to help you in the choice of the right property for you. But as often is the case, unfortunately, it doesn't quite do the job. So if you found this hopeful, actually hopeful, yeah, well, French laws, yeah. If you found this helpful, if you don't mind clicking on the old like, subscribe and bell buttons, Gives me a bit of a buzz if nothing else, and I'll see you soon. Bye.